What's up guys, this is Luis from Alibi Security and today I'm gonna to show you how to download, install, and set up Alibi Vigilant CMS. The biggest benefit of using the CMS application is that you don't have to deal with any web browsers or plugins anymore. An even better benefit is being able to log in with your P2P cloud account and managing multiple devices and locations from one interface. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can get notified when new videos are available. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is download the Vigilant CMS application. So we'll open a web browser. We'll go to alibisecurity.com. Across the top here, you'll see support, put your mouse over it and then go down to downloads. The second option here is gonna be Alibi Vigilant Software and Manual Downloads. We're gonna select that. And the third option on this page is going to be the CMS software for Alibi Vigilant IP products. My computer is a 64-bit computer, so I'm going to select the CMS software Win64. You can see up in the top right corner it did download, so I'm going to hit Open File. Once the folder is open here, I'm going to have two options. I'm going to double-click on the application, hit Run. If you do get this screen here, you want to hit Install anyway. Most of the setup wizard is gonna be pretty much just going through hitting the next button, but if you do need specific information like where you want it to, if you have a specific hard drive where you want it to go to, you can set that here. Going to hit install here, and that is installing the program. Then I'm going to hit finish, and the program is installed. Okay, so once you have Alibi Vigilant CMS installed, we're just gonna go ahead and open that up. So I'm gonna hit search here and go and type Vigilant CMS. So the first thing it's gonna do is ask you to put a username and password in. The default username is admin, and the default password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like all the Vigilant devices, I'm gonna hit log in here. And the first thing you're gonna see is that it does pop up a um, add device dialog box. I'm gonna close that out. All right, so before we jump into the device management, I'm just gonna go over the menu options across the top here. Looking across the top here, the first option is a quick access to the control panel options. The second one is a light and dark theme option. So if you wanna change the theme of the uh, CMS software, I can hit light there and it will switch it over to light. Switch it back to dark. Here's if you wanna switch users. Um, this is to lock the CMS software. So if I click this, it will lock the software and I can't do anything until I unlock it. And this last one here is the help option that will launch a config wizard or if you wanna know about the version of your CMS software. One last thing to include here is the user management option. So if I click here, you can update the password to your CMS, add users, etc., as needed. So the first thing we wanna do here is go to device management. And if you know, it does discover my unit that is on my network here. I can add this unit to the top section here and that will add it to the actual CMS software. So if I select it here, hit add. It's gonna move it to the top here. And you notice that it does say offline incorrect username and or password. So all I need to do here is select this and hit edit and type the password of my unit because it does put that one, two, three, four, five, six default password in there. So if you if your password is not that, you need to put your custom password. It'll say connecting here, and now it does say online. That is one way you can add a device to your CMS software through the local network. Keep in mind that this will only work when you're on the same network as the device. If you have a laptop and you go off to a work trip and you take the laptop, it will no longer be connected to that unit. So what we prefer you to do is actually log into the P2P account, and then you'll have access anywhere you have internet access. So I'm gonna remove this gonna select it and hit delete hit yes on the left hand side here you'll see cloud device I'm gonna log in here and this is the same login that I use on the vigilant mobile app so I'm gonna go ahead and log in here and you notice that it does pull up my DVR here and now it does have an online status so it's that simple all you have to do is download the software get into device management go to cloud device and log into your P2P account and your unit or however many units you have connected to your P2P account, they will all list here and be available. Moving on to the live view, we'll go to control panel. 
and then we'll go to live view. You'll notice on the left hand side, my cameras are there. So if I double click that, they will start those cameras. Obviously you notice that the resolution is pretty poor there. So what I can do is hit the stop button down here, go to control panel. On the right hand side, I go to system configuration and where it says stream type, I want to choose use default stream type. And then I want to change that to sub. Be careful there. If you put it to main, make sure that you don't have a ton of cameras because if you do, it will slow your system down. And this, I recommend sub. So I'm going to hit apply here. Hit okay. Now when I go to live view and I double click this, you'll notice that the image of those cameras is a lot more clear. It's kind of pulling in that sub stream now instead of that third stream that was really, really low resolution. All right, so just a quick overview of the live view. Obviously, if you click and drag these cameras around, you can put them in any spot you want. These buttons down here are for your grid. I'm not gonna go over every one of these buttons, but if you hover over them, it will give you a description of exactly what those buttons are for. And then on the camera itself, you do have some controls here. You have a snapshot button that will take a picture. You have PTZ control here. If I click on this, this was a PTZ camera. I'd be able to pan right and left. Uh, this one is very focused. So if I hit the zoom there, it does zoom in and zoom out. Some audio options there to turn the audio on to a audio and then your, um, your playback option there. And that will just create a playback right inside this uh, window here. Overall, pretty self-explanatory when it comes to doing your live view, setting different grids. Like here's the grid option here. If I wanted a nine grid, all that good stuff, everything you typically would see in a CMS uh, software. And in the very bottom right, this is the full screen button. If you're on a large screen TV or something that you don't want to see the menus. Moving on to playback. So we'll go ahead and stop these cameras. Then now we're going to go to control panel and then we're going to go to playback. Here again, we have the recorders listed here. If there was multiple recorders here, you'd be able to select what recorder you would like. Here, I'm just going to choose camera one and the red dots down here on the calendar are going to tell you what days are available for playback. So if I select the second and hit search down here, this date will show me that this is looking at February 2nd. Once I drag the cursor across the bottom here, you'll notice that it does have a yellow cursor. So wherever I put that cursor, that's where it's going to play back at. And that's playing back. If I drag this around, if I move this cursor throughout this bar here, it will show me footage from that time. We've got some rain there. On the right hand side, I do have clips here. These are continuous clips because this camera is recording continuous. If there was motion there, you would see motion clips. In order to download footage from this camera, you'll see a download button on the right hand side here. And also there's a download button on the bottom left hand side. So if I want to download footage, um, I can hit the download option here. And this is going to give me a bunch of clips. There was motion clips there. You can do, you can download the entire clip. There's some event clips and normal clips, or you can download by time. Even though this is a good option here, I do prefer using the, the download option on the bottom left. I can select a camera here Then I want to choose my date and time. So here I'll choose the second, hit okay. And then the end time is going to be the second at uh, 59 seconds. And I'll hit search here and that will bring up the clips that are, um, that has those uh, images in there. So if I select these and I hit download, it's going to give you a notification in the bottom right hand corner that it is downloading. But right here, you see this icon here that shows download progress. If I click on that, it will bring up the task management box that will show me the process of those down those files downloading. So while that's downloading, the last thing I wanted to show you is the control panel option here. And then on the right hand side, I'll go to system configuration and this um, box, this dialog box will pop up on the left hand side here. You do have snapshot and recording. This is going to tell you where these recordings and snapshots are going. So this is the image file path for the snapshots and this is the file path for the downloads, etc. So that's going to give you information on where this footage is downloading to. So now that is done, you can actually go to the completed tab on the left hand side. And there's some more operations here. You can hit the play button and it will automatically play that footage in your video player. Um, here's the open folder and that will open the folder that it is downloaded into. And then there's a delete button if you want to delete that footage. 
Overall, setting up the Vigilant CMS program is fairly simple. If you still have any more questions, I would highly recommend downloading the manual by clicking the link in the corner. Or you can reach out to our technical support team for any questions you have. Also, make sure to check out the Alibi Vigilant playlist on our YouTube channel for tons of how-to and setup videos.